Um, I don't have a lot of radically new stuff to talk about. Um, so current RC viewers out there include uh, the memory fixes and sunshine and a version that combines the two. Uh, it's the version that combines the two that is most likely to uh, ultimately be promoted. So if you're if you're doing trial merges or anything, that's where I would look. Um, then there's uh, the SL share improvements, the Twitter and Flickr changes. I don't think there's anything new in that other than the fact that it keeps moving up to the next release uh, and the project zipper things. Um, looking at the uh, current performance of those, uh, it's kind of a toss-up which of the of the top three are likeliest to be promoted. So I, I'm, I'm not going to make any guesses. Um, are people hearing me? Uh, yep. Just in case? Yeah, okay. Um, I'm hearing, yeah. Good, thank you. Um, we have the Oculus Rift sources available now, and of course the Project Viewer is now on the regular Project Viewers page. Uh, that We don't anticipate moving that to a release candidate until after, the at least after the next development kit version is available. Um, but we'll keep it out there and we'll periodically merge it up to um, the latest uh, base viewer sources. Uh, I, I'm not sure what the frequency of that will be, but we'll try not to let it get too far behind. Um, so if you want to experiment with that, uh, go ahead. Um, I wouldn't put it into released viewers. We do anticipate that there will be significant changes when the next development kit is out. Um, well, uh, I don't. I don't know if we can attribute to that, but um, the uh, uh, that that code base is also intended to provide the basis for support for other um, similar headsets, and it looks like there will be some others at some point. Um, but we don't have any definitive timeline on them, uh, either for when they'll be available or when when we'll support them, but. Um, certainly, we'd like to be able to support uh, any alternatives that become available. Um, so, other stuff that's out there, the group band viewer is uh, waiting, basically, for the grid support to work its way out. Um, and uh, the Snowstorm release stream is, we're tweaking a few things. Uh, before we release that, but we would be behind several of these other projects uh, in priority anyway, so we're not really slowing anything down in practice. Um, there's, let's see, what else have we got out there? Uh, there's a viewer that's got a new login screen that will be showing up shortly. Um, and, uh, but I, I don't think it has any other significant changes in it. Um, it's, it's yet another attempt to, um, there will be, I'm not really sure what the status of that is. Um, we'll, I'll, I'll try to get, something for you by our next meeting on on what the status of that is um i hope there are no changes in the mechanics of the logging itself no it's just uh how the how the initial screens are presented um it, it's it's yet another attempt to to make a friendlier intro for new users it's it's really focused on new users rather than existing users um you know, we, we continue to experiment with how to how to make uh, 
reduce the friction, as they as they say, of of getting people in and acclimated for the first time. Um, uh, is the grid chooser looking better? The grid chooser is not by default displayed, uh, and won't be. Uh, I believe the intent is to leave the current set of widgets um, um, as they'll continue to be available because they're some of them are used within the viewer as well, and that part hasn't changed. Um, yeah, that's the that's the right set of sources, I believe. Um, it's. Uh, but like I said, it's 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 mostly visual improvements and mostly focused on on new user introduction. Um, the uh, so that's that's coming. The only reason it isn't out as a release candidate yet is that there are a bunch of others out there right now, and we're trying to get more time on those. Um, that number should go down pretty quickly, I think. Um, if we decide that the viewer that combines the memory fixes and sunshine is no worse than the others we'll we'll close the other candidates out and just use that combined one to track them so we'll see how that comes out we should have some good data on that by the beginning of next week um and uh let's see um other other stuff there's a as usual there's another batch of maintenance fixes um nothing super dramatic that that'll be coming pretty soon um, and once uh, once we we get a little bit more stuff out there we'll have a few more um, there there are a bunch of uh, oh there's there's one coming from Monty is Monty here today I'm up here yes, he is here uh, so Monty has been doing um, lots of stuff to clean up how our libraries are built and linked, especially linked, um, and getting lots of uh, a whole a whole tree of them uh, more up to date, um, uh, up to and including uh, OpenSSL and libcurl, that whole tree of dependencies uh, for which many of us are enthusiastically grateful, um, and that project is about to go into Q, internal QA and so will shortly be working its way out to where you can start taking advantage of it. Um, anything you want to add there, Monty? Um, I'm yes. Trouble pushing buttons. <laughs> okay, um, go ahead. Let's see. Um, the library list of things that are either just getting rebuilt or getting updated is just going to type here quickly. Uh, there, um, some of those are getting updated to list to uh, current. Some of those are just being built more correctly. Um, depending on situation, um, those are all actually in public repos. Um, they are discoverable if you do a little work. I just haven't published the locations yet. Um, font conf uh, font config, um, Qt WebKit is <laughs> a challenge. I just so hate that library. Um, this initial release to, to keep the scope under control is just going to be a rebirth of the repo, the existing LQT WebKit repo. I don't know what happened to it. Somebody got in there and tried to bring down the company from the inside, I think, using the LQT WebKit repo. Um, so I reborn it. I rebirthed no, it. No, they, they did that with Boost, Monty. <laughs> yeah, we did that with Boost as well. But uh, I think it By the way, it. Did, did you did you did you get rid of those uh, coroutine renames and other nasty stuff in Boost Build? A little bit. We've got. Um, um, I had to do a little bit of cleanup for coroutines, but um, the structure is still there. Um, so we have you're still uh, 
hack and rename the, the, the functions. There is some hackery still. Uh, we're trying to, um, well, there's a, there's a conference happening later on uh, this summer, and we're looking at some things are coming down the Boost pipeline. I think we're going to get in shape for that. So we'll be looking at Boost again, but right now it's 155, um, a little bit less hackery than we've done in the past for the coverage stuff and coming along. Yes, Snat is helping out with that. Uh, he's very much the uh, driver of what um, we customize and boost, and he'll, he's interested in cleaning that up as well. Anyway, uh, QT WebKit, what is coming out and the repo is available is a rebirth of the repo. Um, still 471, nothing's fixed, but we can build a thing on modern hardware. We can build it to modern versions. Um, it runs, it builds and runs its little utility and test programs for visual testing. Um, it uses the correct libraries to do its things, and we're going to go out with that as the first pass. Um, I've got three other versions of the library, and we're still trying to decide what we'll do with that. And those include, uh, I've got a 474 release, a 485 release, and a 521 release, all in progress. And no promises, I'm just telling you that they're there. We're looking at it, and we'll see what we can do in the future. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna see if we can get this set of changes with without, ever, act, without having actually moved to a newer LLQ2 WebKit. Um, out the door and and, and available because there's there are lots of really good improvements here um, uh, that that we would like to be able to take advantage of. We we suspect that there will be um, well, there will certainly be some some developer friendliness involved and um, and just general um, code hygiene. So we're gonna we're gonna try and get these done and and then. If there's a, 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 a QT WebKit upgrade, that will be dealt with as a separate effort. Um, it, we just had to draw a line somewhere, uh, lest this consume uh, infinite resources and never actually get out the door. Um, so um, we're gonna we're gonna do it that way. Um, and it really was doing that. It was just an endless sinkhole. Yeah. <laughs> um, Monty kept disappearing over event horizons, and we kept having to, you know, recreate him. Um, so we're, uh, we're we're getting that we're getting that effort done, and it's I think it's really going to be good. Um, uh, one of the possibilities is moving away from Qt WebKit. Um, we don't have we don't have firm plans. Uh, in in any direction uh, beyond the current stuff, yeah. CEF is is ob the obvious uh, major alternative. Uh, it would require quite a lot of work to uh, make it fully integrate with the viewer, and so that's not a that's not a small project. Um, but uh, but it would be kind of nice to be on a base that. Looks like it's got more of a future than QT WebKit does. So um, that's all stuff that will be going into the into the planning hopper, and we'll we'll see what comes out the other end of it. Um, but at this point, there are no there are lots of alternative ideas. There are no decisions yet. Um, so I think that's pretty much that. Um, uh and i guess that's what else did i have on the agenda list here um yeah and 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 that's that's kind of the news we've got for you so the floor is open might as well get this one out of the way first um any more progress on the cocoa bugs uh, there are a bunch of fixes in the next maintenance viewer. Um, I I don't have a list in front of me right now. For forgive me, I since our last meeting, I've on, I've been on vacation almost the whole time and have been completely disconnected from the internet. So, um, and you survived. I, and I survived. I, I I made it down the Colorado River. Uh, 
hole how, without drowning. How did you survive without the internet for so long? <laughs> Actually, I found the only piece I really missed was that I, I, I found myself reflexively trying to Google the answer to various questions. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, I would I would say, you know, well, I want to know about such and such, and I would kind of reach for my smartphone, and it wasn't there. Yeah, Google has really become like a Star Trek computer, that source of all knowledge that you have at your fingertips. Yeah, somebody somebody told me that there are there are iPhone apps now that you can download the entire contents of the text content of Wikipedia into and have it locally on your on your phone. I haven't actually checked that assertion yet. That would have been pretty cool to have, except that. Then I'd have been tempted to turn on the network and see if I could connect, and it was good not to actually. Uh, yeah, well, text compresses beautifully. Anyway, um, uh, so I, I, in any event, I, I I have not been following in detail uh, things that I try to follow in detail um, for a couple of weeks and haven't quite gotten synced up on everything yet um so uh so i don't know that's okay i just had to ask yeah no no it's a, it's a fair question um perfectly fair question other other stuff that we should talk about uh, i gather i missed lots of excitement on logins being blocked for a few hours and all that um you all will have seen the blog post um, from Landon about that. Uh, yeah, that was an excellent blog post. I want to commend Linden Lab for uh, really, you know, stepping up and being transparent and it was refreshing and, and really good. I hope it continues like that. I, I expect that it will, actually. Um, that's uh, um, That was as well received internally as externally. So, um, uh, and expect <laughs> money. Money on things, Trinity, huh? The, the cartoon. Yeah, um, I'm with Latif. The, the fact that uh, Linden Lab came out and announced what the problem was was, was huge. Um, and I'm with Oz in the fact that I expect it will continue. I mean, after all, the roll, there's a post about it out there as well. The re-roll on Wednesday. Yeah. There there have been a bunch of issues to address quickly. and So Operations has had a, an exciting couple of weeks. Um. <laughs> The only question I have about that one is, uh, are we going to get the uh, uh, group band code back out on one of the RCs? Um, uh, yes, as soon as it's rebuilt. So the the um, it's it's scheduled to re-roll back onto the same RC it was on before. Cool. Thank you. Um. So uh, there's there's also been some some discussion about making uh, grid status more visible on on the um, initial login screens and and in other other places. So we'll uh, so that you don't so that people don't have to be quite as clued in as going to status.secondlife.com or whatever it is. Um, so we're 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 still contemplating what the set of changes we'll we'll do about that is, but there's there's pretty strong agreement that we should do something better. Um, uh, well, that leads me to another question. Any chance of going back to uh, the old way when there was a problem with the grid that there was a notice went out to everybody? Uh, there's been some. That's been one of the possibilities dis discussed. Um, the uh, the principal problem with that is that when there's a problem with the grid, sending notices to everybody doesn't tend to work. Um, so it's kind of one of those catch-22 deals, right? Uh, we, we may try to uh, make that an easier thing for us to do and begin using it more often when we think it will work. 
but for example, uh, in each of the, the the problems that that Landon blogged about recently, um, the systems for sending messages would not have worked. So um, it it wouldn't have helped. Um, the the set of problems for which the message system is still reasonably reliable and and yet there's something worthy of sending a message to everybody about may not be a very big set um, these days. Uh, so, um, yeah, right, a scrolling ticker message. Um, so, so we'll see, um, but uh, it's it's not clear that there's there's a lot to be gained for whatever effort it would take to. Um, yeah, <laughs> amazing is a really nice way to put it. Um, confounding would also be appropriate. Um, I'm I'm learning more about it all the time, and it's pretty remarkable. Uh, on the other hand, it solves a lot of difficult problems. So. Um, um, yeah, uh, one of the things that has been talked about is just using our Twitter account more for this kind of notice. Um, again, there are lots of possibilities being discussed, and which which set will will home in on is um, is still uh, very much an open question. But we but we it's it's something we're we're focusing on. And a screen shake has already been taken. We it's <laughs> that means something now. Um. <laughs> uh. That was actually somebody actually made it a joke and um, in a hallway conversation, and that's how that feature ended up in in the region restart message. Uh. It's definitely hard to miss. Yeah, I think it's cool. Um. Uh, uh, haven't haven't uh, uh, we, we haven't solved the fact that it doesn't work if you're in mouse look at the time. So if anybody's looking for a nice open source fix to provide, um, you could you could come up with that one. <laughs> oh great, Trinity! You'll you'll have people throwing up all over the place. Um, I, I haven't tried that effect uh, in the in the Oculus Oculus Rift. I, I I wonder I wonder how radical it is there. I'm I'm waiting until the next version of the Rift before I ask them to get me one. Uh, I have not heard, I personally have not heard anything f about new leap motion stuff. Um, although somebody, I did see some email go by from while I was on vacation that somebody had experimented with the new version and it's got a lot better resolution. Um, so... Yeah, Maybe the first some... uh, version of uh, Oculus was uh, <coughs> low resolution. No, I meant the the, um, the leap motion. I never the leap motion. Yeah. Apparently, it has has much better discrimination of of finer motions. So, uh, yeah, it's very low res. That's about the only thing that I didn't like about it. Have you tried it on the Second Life roller coasters, Monty? No, actually, Second Life is the one application I have not tried Oculus on yet, and uh, that's it's actually pretty list good. It. It's surprisingly good. Yeah, I I tried it uh, right here actually 
um, when I when I tried it out. This this is where I logged in with it, and it it was pretty cool. Um, There was also a blog post on Inara's blog about uh, the spot on people looking for developers to improve the viewer for for streaming from their service. On live, yes. Sorry. I think I'm going to I'm going to carefully not ask about it, about that simulation. Welcome to the internet. Other topics? matters of concern? Uh, I just have one silly question, but it's more of a personal one. Uh, yeah. yeah. Did you wind up in the water unexpectedly on your trip? Uh, I only I only ended up in the water expectedly on this trip. Um, I came really, really, really close uh, to getting dumped at one point. Um, a couple of points, actually. Uh, I, I, I got thrown out of my seat in the boat uh, a few times and happened by sheer coincidence to land back in the boat. Um, <laughs> uh, and at least once we almost flipped the whole boat, but just barely managed not to. So we did have, we did have one boat flip on the trip and, and uh, a few people who got ejected from their boats and had to be fished out of the water. But uh, it was, so there was, there was ample excitement. Um, and lots of fun. For those who hadn't heard, I, I just did a whitewater rafting trip down the Grand Canyon. Uh, it was, it, if you can, if if you can, ever find a way to do that, I, I, I cannot possibly recommend it highly enough. It was really incredible trip. It was really wonderful. It was not even slightly warm. The water was about fifty degrees. Uh, that's Fahrenheit. Really cold. Um, so, because it's, the air was pretty hot, uh, so, uh, it was actually, and, and extremely dry, so if you did get wet, you dried off really fast, um, but, uh, except for one hailstorm that we had one afternoon, that was pretty crazy. By any chance, did you do the glass-floored skywalk? No, I was down on the river, not up on the rim, um. So I didn't see that. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, they say it's about twenty degrees difference between the rim and the and the and the floor. It's twenty degrees warmer down at the bottom of the canyon than it is up at the top. It's uh, it was really hot, um, the, especially the last few days. It was it was well. I swam down the last set of rip, rapids just because I was so hot. It was. Yeah, it was it was like a hundred and five or something the last day. Um, pretty ferocious uh, Fahrenheit, that is, of course. Um, <clears throat> so it was it was and extremely dry uh, desert conditions, but it it was it was just an amazing trip. I, I I really best vacation I ever had. Didn't think about Second Life for five minutes for two whole weeks. It was great. Um, so I'm glad to be back, but I had a great break. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Um, if if that's it, 
I guess we can be done. Going once. I wish we're going twice. And I will see you all in two weeks, if okay. not sooner. Thanks, us. Take care. Bye, all.